So a lot has happened since my last YouTube video. I got a haircut, my identity was stolen, and what? You don't care? You want to hear about U.S. soccer? That's a shock because no one liked my status and no one, only one person favorited my tweet. Well, if you really want to hear, since my last video, the U.S. has moved from number 22 to number 19 in the FIFA rankings thanks in large part to their Gold Cup performance. Uh, a lot of soccer players have also been moving. The biggest one you should know about is American soccer player Clint Dempsey. Clint Dempsey is like the next Landon Donovan. And I say Landon Donovan because he's probably the only American soccer player you guys know. Clint Dempsey was at the English Premier League, one of the top leagues in the world. And he moved back to the MLS, the Major, major League Soccer in America. You see... The English Premier League is kind of like the NFL and the MLS is college football. So you see why a lot of people were disappointed when Clint chose to go to the Seattle Sounders of the MLS. Uh, one of the people who was disappointed was Jurgen Klinsmann, head coach of the U.S. national team. He, like many others, wanted Clint to continue playing in the English Premier League and eventually move on to the Champions League. The Champions League is are the teams in the Premier League that make it to the that are playoff teams. They're kind of like the NFL playoff team. My camera's dying. Uh, so Clint will be joining Eddie Johnson in Seattle. Eddie Johnson was mentioned in my first soccer video, which you can watch here. In other player movement news, Charlie Davies, who I also mentioned in the last video coming back to America to join the New England Revolution where he will join Juan Agadello who is technically Colombian American and Lee Wing an actual Vietnamese American athlete. Anyways back to US soccer. On Wednesday they played Bosnia Hurt I can't pronounce this so I have to look at my paper. Bosnia Herzegovina another country you couldn't locate I couldn't locate on the map. But unlike El Salvador, Bosnia was actually ranked high in the FIFA rankings. They were ranked number 13 before the friendly. For the first time in a while, the U.S. squad didn't have Clint Dempsey or Landon Donovan, which they wished they had in the first half thanks to the U.S.'s horrible defense. The defense let in a goal in the 8th minute when Eddie Johnson, a forward, so he really doesn't play defense, but still, no excuse. Even I know that when the ball is 20 yards away from your own goal, you kick it out as far as you can. The broadcasters called it defensive suicide. Then, Josie Altidore, who the broadcasters called the U.S.'s only positive in the first half, took over. He first assisted Eddie Johnson and then he scored three goals of his own. The first in the 59th minute, the second in the 84th, and the last in the 86th minute. His second goal made me say, made me say, bend it like out the door. The U.S.'s dismal defense let in another careless goal in the 90th minute. Seriously, if we could get some African American children to choose defense. Anyways, but the U.S. held on to a 4-3 victory, giving them their first come from behind win on European soil ever. The U.S.'s defense may still stink, but for the first time in a long time, we finally have some good freaking offense.